Hello everyone, welcome back to Aptive channel. In the last video, we talked about the basics of the string data type or the user defined data type that is available in Java programming language. Like how to create the string, what are the different ways of creating string, how to make the string interning. In today's video, we will get to know the details about the string immutability. What is the immutable string? What are the reasons to make a string as immutable in Java? What are the benefits we are going to get if the string is immutable? All those things uh, we will try to get in this video. But before uh, moving on to, this, on to that topic, I just want to start with uh, some methods that are available in string class. What are the different operations we can do? Then slowly we can move on to get the details about the methods that can update the string object. Based on that, we will move on to the string immutability concept. Okay. So let us start with some methods that are available in string class. Okay. This is our earlier program. So here we have written two strings and we have done the interning and all right. So let me comment all this code for now. So let me execute this. Okay, this is fine, right? So suppose if I want to find the particular character at a particular index suppose this is all the string right it is i mean we can get the strings uh, particular character at a particular index as well okay suppose this is a string app dev okay for each character there will be a position like 0 1 2 3 4 5 okay suppose if i want to get the character that is at position 3 okay then we can write like this i mean there is a method available in string class parrot okay so character at a particular index it is going to give us okay suppose if i mention three what will happen we will see see it is giving the character d okay zero one two three okay so d it is giving this is one of the method which helps us to find a character that is present at a given position in the string okay suppose uh, if i want to find something whether a particular string or a character that is present in the uh, in a string or not okay say for example there is one method available contains okay this gives us whether a particular string or a character whether a particular word or a character present in the given string or not okay so it is giving true so it is written some boolean value so if the given character or a word present in the given string see here i am trying with a word okay now let's see whether we get the response or not so it is still giving us the true okay suppose if i mention like this what happens we'll see I'm giving developer, but the given string is app dev. False because there is no developer string in it. Okay, so if the given word is present in the particular in the target string, then it returns true. Otherwise, it returns false. The contains method is used to find whether a given word or a character present in the string or not. It returns true or false. Okay, suppose I want to find an index of a particular word or character okay earlier we have seen uh, getting the character based on the index right now we can see we also have one another method we can get the character position based on the character as well okay for that uh, we have one method index of so if you pass a character to this okay it will give the ind first index of this particular character or a string okay whatever it is 
you can pass character and string as well so it is giving zero so it started here right suppose if i try to find like this i'm trying to find the app word in the app dev so if this found in the given in the target string then it returns the starting index of that word okay let's see that so it is still giving zero right let me check with this okay dev i am trying to find the index of the dev word in the given string in the target string now let me see what i will get see three i am getting so it is starting here dev word is starting here that's why it is giving me suppose if i don't find if i give the word which is not present in the given target string then what will happen let's see that minus 1 so if the given word or a character that not present in the target string then it returns minus 1 if it finds then it returns a number greater than minus 1 0 1 2 3 like that okay so see here i am trying to find the character r index of the character r here from this uh, string okay even then it is giving me minus one okay so if you want to find whether a string exists or not then you have to use the contains but if you want to find the position of the given word in the target string then you have to use the index of okay then uh, we have another method suppose here we have two characters right suppose uh, if i try to search for the character p then it gives me the first index first position of the character see suppose if i want to get the last index or the last position of that character then i have to use the last index of function okay yeah it is giving me the last index or the last position of that given given character okay so that's all about uh, these functions caret we have seen caret contains index of and last index okay let me take up a couple of a few other functions uh, which we have seen in the last class right uh, in the last video we have seen that uh, equals method is used to compare whether the two strings are equal or not okay suppose there are other methods okay suppose i want to there are two strings okay string s2 is equal to boy okay i want to compare whether these two strings are equal or not then i can use equals method it returns uh, boolean value right suppose uh, there are methods available uh, in string class like compare to okay suppose uh, let me use that compare to okay um, s1 dot compare to of s2 what it does is it is going to pick up each and every character from each of these two strings and compare the character by character it's not the character comparison it's based on their unicode comparison okay for uh, it tries to compare with the a and b okay these two characters are different and their unicode is also different for a it is 65 and for b it is 66 right so what happens now we, by looking at these two strings we can say these two are different these are not comparable but what if i call compare two of h2 then what happens we will see we are getting minus one because uh, 65 minus uh, 66 we are getting to we are going to get minus one that uh, difference between the unicode character value of the first unmatched character okay say for example here i have a p p l e apple okay see here uh, a a and a are matching p and p are matching p and p are matching now d and l are there right so it is going to get the difference between this is the unmatched character combination so it is going to give us the result uh, difference between the unicode characters value of d and l okay see it is giving us minus 8 right so which means that if at all we are getting minus value 
uh, which means uh, less than zero uh, then we are we can say that s1 is lexicographically i mean alphabetically s1 is less than s2 suppose it gives me the positive value okay uh, then we can say that s1 is greater than s2 let's see that with an example okay now let me reverse these two okay s2 and s1 now let me call apple dot compare to of app dev then we should be getting the positive value see this 8 right so apple is greater than app dev if you are comparing like this okay uh, if apple dot compared to of this uh, app dev because the first uh, l minus d that will happen earlier it happened d minus l so if, if at all it is giving the negative value then the first string is less than second string if it is giving the positive value first string is greater than second string suppose if both the strings are same then what will happen so it is giving the zero so compared to will gives zero value zero if both strings are same equals method returns true if both strings are equal both of their content is equal okay that is the difference between compared to uh, and equals it returns boolean value it returns zero less than zero greater than zero values okay I mean we can specifically say whether they are equal or not if you are using the equals but if you are using compared to if they are not equal we can try to get whether the, it is less than or greater than the given other string okay so that is about uh, compared to method suppose I have uh, another method another string like this I have a string like this uh, okay let me put it back see here apple apple only the case difference is there now let me execute this okay it is giving the minus 32 because the compared to is it is saying if you are calling uh, the compared to method on two strings which are just different by the case still it is regarding i mean still it is referring that as unmatched strings are the unequal strings because it is going to get the different ascii course for each of these values and it is going to give the difference between the ascii course of the unmatched character combination 65 minus 97 that it is written in here suppose if you want to ignore the case while doing this comparison you can use a method like this compare to ignore case is there it is giving us the zero so it will try to compare by ignoring the case if you use the compare to ignore case okay these are the methods and i mean there are several other methods like if we uh, we can convert the string to upper case we can convert the string to lower case uh, we can split a string into different words if the string is such a large string having multiple words we can split a string into multiple words okay each word will be one uh, element in an array by using the split function by using uppercase lowercase functions are available okay now let me use a method okay let me remove everything from here otherwise let me put it like that okay see hi here i am having a method uh, string s1 is equal to apple okay now let me modify it okay welcome welcome is there now i want to update this welcome to i want to append something welcome java or welcome strings okay so there are methods available and an operator is available plus is equal to s1 is equal to s1 plus java okay so if you do that and print s1 let's see what happens now see it is trying to it is updating right it is updating the string s1 and it is appending basically 
okay it is concatenating the given string java to s1 and it is storing it in s1 okay which means that s1 we are able to update the contents of s1 by adding another string okay there is another method available if you want to concat something to the existing string we have the concat function okay now let's see what happens the welcome java is printing right so which means that we are able to update the contents of string s1 we are able to mutate the contents of string s1 mutation means updation so uh, any object uh, we can update or we cannot update the objects which we can update updating object means updating the values or the assigning new values to the uh, to the properties that are to the instance variables that are declared as part of that class so that is that is what the updating an object here similarly we can uh, we are updating the string contains s1 here so um, that means we are able to change the contents of string s1 we are able to mutate the contents of string s1 but uh, as per the java language specification java is saying string is immutable in java you cannot modify the contents of a string once it is declared but here what we are achieving we are able to update the contents of the string which is uh, contradiction to the java language specification what is mentioned about strings in the jls right so what is the difference why are we getting the different why are we able to update the different value here okay because what happens internally see concat also uh, we will see yeah yeah so we are able to update the contents of the string right now let me go to our uh, presentation see what happens internally see this uh, okay. see uh, we have created a string initially right welcome okay so that welcome is coming okay and it will be created in the constant pool it will be given with some memory location and its reference will be stored uh, will be stored with a reference variable and that reference variable will be pointing to that string constant pool entry this and all we know it the moment i try to update some string or add some string to the existing string what happens it is it will check for the string that is available already or not okay what we are doing uh, we are going to create a new string welcome java so it is not there it is not there in the string constant pool what happens it creates a new object in the string constant pool welcome java and the existing entry okay uh, reference variable or the reference number right the same reference number will be pointed out to the new string and what happens the new entry and the old entry whichever we, we are pointing s1 to the just welcome string right that will be delinked so s1 will be having link to the new object with the same ref old reference number the reference number to the object link with the old welcome string will be delinked so even though we are seeing uh, for the outside we are seeing we are going to update the string we are updating we are able to update or we are able to mutate the contents of a string but internally it is creating whenever you call concat method or any methods that are going to update your string like upper case lower case uh, uh, you can replace the characters in a string all those methods right all those methods what they will do they are going to create a new string if at all that is not found in the string constant pool okay and that new string object will be uh, referring to the existing reference variable and the link between the reference variable and the old string will be dealing will be removed so this is what happening okay it is not internally it is not updating the existing object whereas it is creating 
new object and linking the old reference to the new object so the in this way uh, strings are immutable in java okay so that's what i'm trying to highlight uh, here even though you are using you are it seems like you are trying to modify uh, you are able to modify the contents of string but internally it is not modifying it is creating a new object whenever you create the strings right in string constant pool i mean this is not the case uh, when you create a string with the uh, assignment operator like the string constant or string literal even though if even if you create a string with the new string object right like this then also uh, it will be created uh, i mean it then also the string whatever the string you are going to modify even though it is created by the new keyword even then it is immutable so in string object in java is immutable okay but why is that why is that the reason the string has been made immutable in java okay that we will know there are couple of uh, concerns it is solving based in order to solve those concerns string has been made immutable okay we have seen in the earlier examples right what we have seen in the earlier example suppose if you are creating a string it is always will be created in the constant pool before creating it right it will be checked whether the particular string is already whether the particular object is already there in the constant pool or not if it is there then uh, the new object new reference also will be pointing to the same object right so that's what uh, we have seen it okay even though if they are created by uh, new new keyword also they will be created in the constant pool so the the moment you create the strings and uh, every string will be created in the constant pool only if they are not exists so the benefit what we are getting now by using the string constant pool it will be created in the constant pool and it will not create one more instance if the same object already exists in the pool right so memory consumption by the application is less whichever the application is using the string class right because we are not going to create for every string s1 is equal to f2 string s2 is equal to f2 s3 is equal to f2 how many variables you create with the same object only one object will be created all those objects will be pointing to the different uh, reference variable reference numbers or the reference variables okay this one i have to modify it yes different reference variable will be there for every reference variable but they will be pointing to the same object so we are not going to create as many objects you call string s1 s2 s3 we will be creating only one object so memory consumption will be less if memory consumption by your application is less then your application performs a bit faster right so a performance of the application will be improved memory up consumption will be less if you are if the string has been made immutable that is the, one of the reasons why the string has been made immutable and that is the one of the advantages we are getting because of string immutability nature okay there is uh, another example which i want to highlight i mean string we are using widely in any application right like suppose uh, there is a class available in java to connect to a host okay uh, that host uh, host name we will be passing it as string to that uh, class or to that method or to that met class constructor suppose uh, i mean there is another class available in java to open a file on your hard drive okay even for that also we have the method or the constructor available to pass the file name as a string so in all these cases wherever you are passing host name as a string file name as a string and database connection name class names file uh, loading the class names are also as strings right suppose if the st string is not made immutable suppose if the string can be modified right users can i mean someone can modify or get access to any host or the or they can open a file 
they can modify the by modifying the contents of the string okay so that's the reason to avoid those security breaches uh, to avoid the unnecessary uh, modifications or illegal modifications to your string class string has been string object string has been made immutable okay so that is another reason okay uh, due to the security to avoid the security issues and to get the performance a bit faster to avoid uh, to use the less memory all these are the advantages of uh, making string is immutable there is another advantage okay suppose a uh, string s1 is pointing to the app dev s2 is pointing to the app dev here right so uh, this is how string constant pool is working in this scenario where multiple objects are pointing to the same op where multiple references are pointing to the same object if string has not been made immutable okay in this scenario if the string has not been made immutable suppose if an application or a program which is using s1 so program number 2 may be using s2 variable program number 3 may be using s3 s4 okay all s1 s2 s3 s4 s5 there are 100 reference variables pointing to the same constant okay same object okay now strings are immute strings are mutable okay we strings are designed in such a way strings are mute they can be updated let's say for example the strings are designed in such a way they can be updatable suppose if one of the uh, thread or one of the program which is having access to the object app dev is modifying this to the welcome java something then what happens right so whatever uh, object whichever references s1 s2 s3 s4 till s100 all the occurrences of uh, all the usage references or the reference numbers or on all the programs whichever is using that object will be getting the updated value but there will be a risk right if all other programs don't want the updated value only s1 want the update then there is no meaning uh, making the string as mutable right then it provides inconsistent data to all other threads even though they don't want the updated value just because s1 is updating the string app dev uh, all other programs all other reference numbers are also getting the updated value so to avoid this inconsistent data when multiple reference numbers are using the same object in the string constant pool to avoid this inconsistent data reflection affection to all other reference numbers string has been made immutable even though just because of that reason string has been made immutable even though you try to modify it is going to create a new object okay it is not going to create it is not going to affect to the other programs okay it is going to, suppose if s1 if a program which is using s1 is modifying app dev which we have seen earlier right i think this is the example which we have seen yeah not this this one yeah suppose even if you try to update it it is going to create a new object so that is the another feature or the benefit which we are getting to avoid the inconsistent data inconsistency when the string constant pool is being used to store the single object which is referenced by the multiple reference variables to avoid the data inconsistency in that scenario string has been made immutable the other two scenarios which we discussed right uh, to avoid the i mean to improve the performance by using the less memory and also to avoid the security breaches those are the three reasons string has been made immutable okay that's all for today's session we have discussed in detail about the different uh, methods or the utility methods that are available in the string class there are many more methods are available which we have seen okay the uh, i mean we have discussed string immutable what is string immutable how it works internally 
uh, how it is going to create a new object every time even though it seems it is, we are able to update how it is creating a new object internally in the string constant pool and what are the reasons that why the java team has made string as immutable what are the benefits we are getting because of the immutability nature of the string class all those things uh, we have seen in detail with examples that's all for today thank you for watching we will meet in the next video thank you